So we've had some discussion about women versus men in drinking wine. And it's been an interesting conversation piece because I have male friends and we have lively conversations about what they like and what they think is good wine. And I have what I like and what I think is good wine and it, and it doesn't always match up. Well, it matches up because I like cab. I think cab is a wonderful varietal and usually they like cab and they might have some Zinfandel or Merlot too, but they like cab. And I like cab and I like Merlot and I like Zinfandel and I like Pinot and I like and I like and I like, right? And I'm trying to convince them to like and like. Um, kind of a feat. <laughs> Uh, but, it, but very indicative of the personality difference in men versus women when it comes to, to drinking wine, choosing, choosing what, what wine to drink, and buying wine. Um, so I was curious and I decided, I wonder if there's even anything out there that people have been talking about on this subject. And so I did some searching and sure enough, people have been talking about this. In fact, one article, I, it was just great because... They talked about uh, Adam and Eve, and Eve was the adventurous, adventurous one, and she went out and she took the fruit and she tasted it, and she's like, hey, Adam, this is great. You've got to have some. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is great. And it's kind of indicative of the personality of men and women when it comes to wine. Men are more conservative. They stick to what they know. Women are more apt to go out and try something new and to be curious and adventuresome in trying a variety of wines. Um, men will buy wine to impress where women will buy wine to share and women are thinking of uh, get, when they buy a wine they think of people you know how people will like it and men will think will will read okay so what are the critics saying of this wine and what's the point of this wine and how much is it rated and how much does it cost and all those things and women are like hey my friend told me about this wine and they said it was great or I was I was in the wine store the other day and the the, the guy there told me to try this wine so I bought it and and I saw this recipe on Food Network and I, this is the bottle that I'm gonna try so there's a difference right um, men will buy to store it, and women will buy to drink it. <laughs> and so there's just some differences, and I thought it was very, very interesting. Now, the question is, do women, can women taste wine better than men? Can men taste, can men taste wine better than women, right? Um, and there's actually proof that women can taste wine better because they physically, on their tongue, have the little things that hold the taste buds. They have more of them, and so they have a lot more taste buds. And so they actually have the ability to taste more of the nuances in wine. And so they're going to like more subtle wines, generally speaking. Men are going to like the cabs and the Zinfandels, and women are going to like the Pinots and the more subtle wines. And um, I was reading this one article, and they have they they broke it down into three categories: super tasters, normal tasters, and then people who don't have very good ability to taste. And there's more women that are super tasters than men. And there are a lot of women winemakers and, and vintners because they have the physical ability to catch the nuances of wine. Not that men don't because, you know, there's such variety in the human race, you know that, but this is generally speaking. So I thought that was very, very interesting. And so all my cab loving friends who I think are wonderful, who I love and I admire. There is physical 
scientific proof that you might not be the super taster that you think you are. <laughs> and so next time we have a conversation, not that I'm a super taster, but I might have more physical taste buds to know what I'm talking about than you when it comes to a Cabernet versus, or I won't even say Cabernet, an American wine versus a French wine. So there you have it. And what a great subject to, to think about and contemplate. And it's probably been going on since Adam and Eve. Thank you, Adam and Eve. <laughs>